Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So, got some goodies in. So, I have a new inverter, so I'm going to do an unboxing on it. This is a Solus hybrid inverter. It is 11.4 kilowatt inverter. Just got it in from Signature Solar, so I'm going to unbox it. Let's see what's in it. I always feel like a kid on Christmas morning opening stuff up. So, it looks like we got a nice handy-dandy mounting bracket. And if you look over here, so... Approximately like so is how it's going to be mounted. So I already got that concrete board up, painted it last night, so should be good to go. All right, so put this off to the side. Let's see what other goodies we have in here. So now let's see what's in the box here. Aha! So it looks like it's got a ampermeter. And this is going to go over your AC line. So I'm guessing it is to see how much how much current that you're putting back on the grid. So that's kind of nice. I won't use this in this installation because my shop is completely off grid. So we'll put that off to the side. Okay, electric meter installation guide. So it does come with that. All right. Let's kind of move this off the side. One thing that I like about a lot of the hybrids compared to the off grids is they're pretty much sealed, which is kind of nice. Now this one does state online that don't put it into direct sunlight. And my guess for that is well, even though it's white, it's going to still get heated up by the sun. So that kind of makes sense. So first thing on the back, it's got some massive heat sinks on it. Love it. And then here's where the mounting bracket goes to hook on. You can see these two hooks right into the aluminum. And this looks like here's ground screws. Got a nice ground symbol on it. Kind of pivot this thing over. All right, so here's the specs on it. So the PV input, the max is 600 volts. That's kind of nice. So the range is, this is cool. This has got a wider range than my 12,000 XPs. My 12,000 XPs, you really want to have over 100 volts minimal. And it goes up to 480 volts. But this... It's saying the range is 80 to 520, with 600 being the absolute max. So you could put more panels uh, in series on this, which is kind of nice. But you could also do less since it'll work all the way down to 80 volts. So kind of cool. It does have four inputs as far as the MPPT controller. So they're 16 amps each, which is kind of nice that you have four of them. I think my 12,000 XP has two. Uh, the batteries. So it says lithium ion, but, you know, lithium iron phosphate as well. Um, so 120 volts to 500 volts. That's wicked. So this is a nice high voltage setup. So it can go all the way up to 500 volts. That's nice. Max charge and discharge current is 50 amps. Makes sense because obviously... You know, you have a much higher voltage, so your amperage doesn't need to be as high, which also means your wire gauge does not need to be as thick. Awesome stuff. Rated output, 11,400 watts. It is a split phase inverter, so 220, 240. 55 to 65 hertz, the standard would be 60, of course, in the U.S. It does have AC output on it, so it will do 11,400 VA. Rated output, 220, 240 volts. And then frequency is 58 hertz to 61 hertz, in which, you know, once again, you're running 60 hertz. Max output current is 51.8 amps. All right. 
So, you know, you have 70, 80 amp breaker after this and you'd be perfectly fine. I think I'm going to be using an 80 just because that's what I have on hand, but it's going to be a temporary setup when I go to set it up. You'll see there's going to be two different ways that I deploy this. The first one is temporary just to compare this against the 12,000 XPs, and then I got a different way of doing it, which would be permanent. Ingress protection 4X, so that's going to be for your PV input. AC grid side, 77 amps continuous. And then transmitter type is a Tigo R2S2. All right, so now the front, it's got a really nice screen on it from what I can see. I can't see it lit up yet, but I can see there's a battery meter there. There's Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth, a few other things I can see kind of in the background on it, but I have to power it up to kind of see what it looks like. I don't see anything else on the front. Let me flip it over to the final side. Okay, so it looks like you have bypass, off, and inverter. I'll find out what that is. Does have a rapid shutdown built into it. All right, so on the bottom, you've got your PV input. You have your battery, AC backup, AC grid, COM port, RSD, another antenna. Let's see what else. And then on the bottom, a few more openings on it. It looks like... You don't have to knock these out. You can just potentially unscrew them. And then it also has a little logger thing here. Once again, on the side, your Tigo antenna. And then another port on each side. So there's that. I think I basically showed you everything on it. Let me see what else this came with. Looks like you got a nice snazzy cable. This is probably for either connecting to your battery or paralleling. Not sure yet. I'll find that out. Looks like here's your dongle. And then I would say this is all the mounting hardware some of the wood screws. Nothing else is here. So manual, once again, you got to go online and download it. Totally fine with that. Like I said, it's not too heavy. It's 50 some odd pounds. So that is very, very nice compared to my 12,000 XPs, which are 100 pounds each. So we're going to take this and I'm going to mount this over here in a separate video and mount it up. So the first installation is going to be mounted here and it's going to go through the side of this box. I'm going to throw a breaker in. So basically what I'm going to have to do is an old school manual transfer for testing this out. So I would take my two parallel, my parallel inverters, flip those off, and then I would flip on this other inverter. And what it will allow me to do is to kind of you know, test everything in here and compare and contrast between the two. And then there'll be a second video, which is going to be how I'm going to permanently install it, which will be essentially the output of that Solus is going to then go into the generator inputs of my 12,000 XPs. And essentially what's going to happen is once the 12,000 XP batteries get too low, stay down to like 20%. I will use the Solus and the high voltage batteries, which should be here on Wednesday to kind of charge it all up. So it should be completely awesome. Looking forward to all this. So my next video is going to be mounting this up on the wall. So hopefully I'll be able to do that tonight and maybe get it out tomorrow. And then once the batteries come in, connect all that up, show you how to do all that and connect it up to my combiner panel. So a lot of cool stuff going on. I have a lot of cool news that's going to be coming out, some pretty awesome stuff. So me to get past this high voltage inverter install. And then once I have that done, then I'm going to give you guys the awesome news that is going on. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.